What's up, y'all? Today we're eating at sketchy restaurants for 24 hours. First things first, we got breakfast. This place has got bars on its windows and doors. But you guys know that part of this series is not judging a book by its cover. It's getting in there, trying some real good food at some unsuspecting places. So here we go. Says, please refrain from using your cell phone while in line. This will ensure that your order is correct. Yeah, they don't want to be like, hey, I'm, 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 I'm gonna be coming over there. Okay, so let's check out this right there. It looks like we're gonna eat some good food right now. I don't know where that sign went, but a wise man once said, things change, people change, feelings change too. Never thought the circumstances would have changed you. Hey there, can I get a country ham omelet? And then can I get one of those salmon croquette? And then I also want a uh, bacon and egg uh, biscuit. So check this out, it's like a, it's almost like a cafeteria line type of situation here. Look at they got everything cooking and simmering for hours. I've been watching this show on Hulu called Bear, and they cook stuff for like 12, 14 hours, and they just let it simmer all day. They might be doing that here, because this is real southern, southern food, takes time. Hey there. Good, how are you? So you're the queen of soul, huh? I don't know the queen of soul, but the queen of Sophia. That's what Sun Liberance gave me, queen of soul. That was a blessing. How'd you get that title? Uh, Southern Living came over here, and they were cooking with me, and I don't know why he gave me that name. He said, you know what? I guess that's my spirit. Yeah. Hey. I act, talk, I treat you. I you got real you. good energy. Like, like, <laughs> that's a good title to have, though, you know? Yes. That's amazing. So our food is here. I don't know what to expect. Let's check it out. This is the salmon sea ham omelet. I don't know. We got a biscuit. Jelly. Oh, that's my omelet. Damn. Look at that. Extra cheese. Good lord. Jake's lactose intolerant, so that's gonna hit nice. I think I'm gonna need a bite of that. I don't know about oh, that. Oh yeah, my man. All right, next thing we got here. Oh, this is a little egg, bacon, biscuit. It's little, but you know, it'll it's hopefully yum, hit. Yum. Uh, last thing we got here. They give you biscuits for just about everything. Oh, these are rolls, some dinner rolls. And here is our salmon croquettes. Okay, so when I looked it up, this is not what I was expecting. I was kind of thinking like a southern patty type. Is I don't know what you would call this. Turd? <laughs> I don't know, it looks like a turd. Either way, we're gonna get into that and we're gonna get going, so. Looks like one piece of bacon in there, probably one egg. I don't know how much they charge this. I think it was like $9 or something. They're getting good return on their money, I'll tell you that. Mm, you know it's a good biscuit when that thing is literally disintegrating in your hand. That's a homemade. I need to taste omelet. that. There's everything in here. Onions, spinach, ham, tomatoes, everything. How could you really go wrong with some eggs, cheese, and bacon for mine? So, I want to see what this is all about that you're hyping up over here. The best part about being me and buying the food for Jake and I is that I get to always try his food. Mmm. Wow, that's really tasty. The bacon here is so hard. Maybe because it's real thick and then real crispy, but it's hard. And they, I, I bet they like cook it in the oven, you know? Well, Maybe. Like, that's a good omelet, it's healthy, it's good. Definitely something I should have got instead of this thing, but I didn't really know what to expect while coming in here. See, this is called soul food. That means it feels good to your soul to eat it, which usually means in other terms, you're going to, you're to sleep after you eat a big meal like this because it feeds you so well. That's comfort food. So th this is, it's really interesting. I don't know what's going to be inside. It's going to be a surprise for all of us. She gave us some mustard and she gave us some uh, hot sauce. I'm going to try it with hot sauce because I usually like my salmon with a little hot sauce anyways. She gave it to us for a reason. We got to try it. All right, here goes nothing. Oh. That's interesting. That's really interesting. The consistency of it is real, like, compare it to is maybe like tuna, but it's salmon. Like a canned salmon. I don't like that. I don't know if I like that either. That's weird, okay? I'm sorry, I don't mean to hate on that food because she's a really sweet lady, but I don't really like that. Sometimes, I will say, look, trying new things is good, but times like today, I wish I would have just gone with what I know because I don't know what the hell that thing was that I ate, but I definitely paid $10 for it. Lesson learned, you know? Next time you see something that says salmon etiquette, Salmon it. croquette. Same thing. Crockett. Salmon crockett. I thought it was like, crockies, eat some salmon. Okay, you guys, so breakfast, interesting. Let's hope we go up from here, all right? Let's get on out of here and let's see what we got coming up for lunch. Come on. All right, you guys, it's lunchtime and we got funky foot barbecue. 
funky foot. I don't know. It's a little weird, but looks a little sketch. They got turkey legs, and I haven't turkey seen that legs. outside of Universal Studios. All right, all right, all right. Let's check it out. So it looks like this could have been like an old gas station at one point, and now it's a barbecue spot. So. Yeah, can we? Yeah, let's see this. Let's see. This. Oh, baby. The whiteness. The white oh man, it looks good. That looks good. Y'all gonna enjoy, enjoy. that. Enjoy. Have a good one, guys. We know the food looks good. Now we just gotta decide what we want. Now so. you get a discount if you pay with cash. Oh, I am paying with cash. How you doing? Hello, how y'all doing? Good, good. Can we do a uh, turkey leg? Can we do a Polish sausage? Sausage? I can barely speak. Is this shoulder a sandwich or is it? Sandwich. It is. Okay, sweet. Let me get one of them too. And then the ribs. We'll just do um, the three bones. The three bones. Yeah, and do any of them come with sides? Nah, yeah, you can get um, plates, two dollars, I mean, it'd be like three dollars extra. Okay, let's do one of them, mac and cheese and baked beans. Will that be it? Yes. Cash or card? Cash. A few minutes later. All right, y'all, we got the food. Let's go find somewhere to eat it because it's getting a little crowded here. Come on. Alrighty, you guys. So let's check this out. I want to see what we're working with here from Funky Foot. Such a weird name for a restaurant, but di oh, oh shit, my it's God. dripping oil everywhere, dripping grease. Let's check this thing out. Oh, pickles. Oh, oh my God. God. That just sent oh. every turkey leg I have seen straight to hell. That looks incredible, Jake. Oh my God. Good Lord. Like, look, we used to think the Disneyland. Freaking turkey legs looked good. Not until we seen this. This is a proper smoked turkey leg right here. Let's we'll see what else we got here. I think this is just toast. We got just a little Wonder Bread with some barbecue sauce. I'm actually real surprised so far. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Oh baby, something's telling me this is gonna smack like how my mama did when she used to beat the out of me back home when I was a kid. Damn it, that looks smacking. Good lord, never judge a book by its cover. I'll tell you that. But damn it, I'm excited to find out. Next thing we got here. Oh, there's our Polish sausage. Say Polish sausage three times fast. Polish sausage, Polish sausage, penis in my mouth. What? Whoa, Whoa. There. That's not what I told you to say, my oh man. My so God. something else might be on your mind. Gosh. Speak your truth, bro. Speak your truth. All right, last thing we got is our pork shoulder sandwich let's see this okay look at that looking right we got pickles on the inside looking a little slightly dry it's gonna definitely need some barbecue sauce on that let's rock with this okay we're gonna switch spots here <laughs> You, man. You. All right, so Jake's gonna try the Polish sausage. Everybody at home right now, I want you to say at home three times fast, Polish sausage, Polish sausage, Polish sausage. Penis Sounds like mouth. I'm saying pull his sausage. All, All right. right, mine has a little bit of mustard, a little bit of onions, a little bit of penis. And a dog. I'm gonna throw it down real quick. I'm not even gonna wait for this slacker. I'm just gonna, <coughs> sorry. Okay, let's do this. It does smell really Damn. good. Give it a little scent. Oh, this is like falling apart. I'm gonna throw this down while he's chewing. Good Nothing special. We have conflicting tastes right now because when you try this, good lord, this has got to be the juiciest shoulder I've ever had. I just don't like wiener. Uh, this pig just said, lean on me when you're not strong. I'll help you carry on with my shoulder because damn, that's gas. I mean, this reminds me of just like a hot dog that your mom barbecued when you were younger with some barbecue sauce on it. That's good, but it's nothing special, you know? I'm gonna go for this. Put some Barbie on there. Make sure there's Barbie in the bite. Oh, there's Barbie right there. There's not enough Barbie used oh, though. Dude. That is out of this world. Mmm, that's gas, right? The pickles are a little extra touch. That is good, because usually when you're ordering these, they have coleslaw on it or something. They don't have pickles, I feel like. That's a different touch right there. My grandma can eat this with no dentures in. No <laughs> dentures. <laughs> so, melts in your mouth. Let's give it a go. There's a lot of mustard in there. I know you like that, huh? It's definitely better than your classic hot dog. For sure, for sure, for but sure. But then again, it's still like a dog. So the skin around the, the sausage is real like tough. It's almost like plastic, you gotta rip that thing. But overall, good flavor. The mustard is complimented nicely. That's something I can't complain about either. I'm real looking forward to this. Thing. Me too. Let's start with our sides, okay? All right, I'm gonna go for these beans. I'm gonna go for the mac. Big old bite of mac. Mmm. Pop. Ugh. I never liked baked beans up until recently. I was just a pinto boy. As mm. hot as your mother. We got the same mother. Anyways, mac and cheese is good. I feel like it's lacking a little bit of flavor. Like it definitely needs some kind of oomph to it. It's literally just mm. cheese. I think the mac and cheese out here, you need to add something to it. Either hot sauce or barbecue a sauce. Salt or something. Something. 
Those baked beans are gas. All right, guys, let's see what this does. Let's see how tender this meat is, okay? I'm gonna just, oh, baby, pulled off nicely. All the meat stayed on, but it came off nice. What the? So it is fall off the bone. So hot. It is real hot, but I'm just gonna dunk it right into this barbecue sauce, and I'm gonna send it down the gallbladder. Send it down the freight train of throat. Mmm, that's a good rib. Impeccable flavors. It's got a real nice crust around, so you get that nice crunch with it, but then your teeth sink through the rest like vanilla ice cream. This is freaking out of this world. This is why I love this series so much, because it's getting us out of our comfort zone. Like, we would have never tried that place driving by. It looks no. like an old gas station. And now I'm going to be coming back when I want good barbecue. This is what we're going to be about, is finding mm. new hidden gems through this series. So if you guys are liking the series, give it a thumbs up right now. Comment what city we should go into next, okay? We can venture into different parts of Tennessee or we can go to a different state. You let us know where we wanna try sketch spots at and we'll go. Okay, you guys, check this out. Now this is a freaking turkey leg, if I will say so myself. This thing is massive. I'm just gonna go and take a bite of it and pass it on, all right, my man? All right. Oh my God. Oh my God, a whole bone down my throat. Wow. Whoa, that rub. This thing's been like soaking in a rub or a marinade. It's something. It's been just it's soaking, soaking in, in a it. brine for for hours. Oh. If you try this bottom, that's why I took a bite out. That's where all the seasoning is right here. That's what's so dark too. Yeah, show how dark that is. Get real close to the camera oh, for that. Color. Let me tell you though, this place is like no other. I know you guys can see it on our face. I love this place. Like, oh, I want to go leave a review, a five star review, just because it was so damn good. Oh, Funky God. Foot over in Bordeaux. The area is a little bit more on the sketchier side, but hey, this is what this series is all about. Lunch, phenomenal. I can only hope dinner will follow. Fingers Pray. crossed. Praying. See you guys then. Let's get out of here. All righty, you guys. So um, when you got barbed wire around your restaurant, you know it's got to be sus. So looks behind me, we got a taco and grill spot. I don't know what to expect here, but that's the best part of this series. So let's go find out if they got some good tacos or not. Now that's no joke. What are they trying to keep you from? like some tanks or something? I don't know. Definitely gonna try some tacos to let you guys know about that for sure. But we're gonna, we wanna try some other things that we don't always get. And I, something that's interesting to me right now, even though it's a breakfast meal, plato de ch chilequiles, am I right? Yeah, I just don't like red chilequiles. Me también, pero who cares? I don't How know are ya? I don't know what a... Hola, ¿cómo estás? Gorditas, yes. Bastante bien, gracias. Bastante, uh, what the hell is bastante? Rather well, that means. Bastante bien. It's like I'm rather well, thank you. Uh, one tostada, camarón, gordita with lengua, and then uh, tres tacos, un asada, un carnitas. ¿Qué te quieres? Cabeza. Cabeza. Okay. Birria. Oh, yeah, y uno más, taco birria. My Spanish is getting good, you guys. Uh, we got a gordita, a, tostada, a, tacos. A chicken quesadilla. And un chicken quesadilla, un quesadilla de pollo. Una quesadilla de pollo? <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes I forget which language I'm speaking. I don't know what she's gonna tell me with the price, so I'm just gonna use my card here. Yeah. I think that's a market right there. I'm gonna go see if I can get some cerveza. Uh, but Loki, okay? Está bien. Listen, you guys, so as you know, some of you may know, I'm not a full Spanish speaker. So what you guys just witnessed right there was probably my best ever conversation in Spanish while ordering food. So I hope you guys are impressed with what I did. I want a round of applause. Let's throw a W in the chat for that, okay? Because that was W Spanish in my book. I got through that. When you see barbed wire like this all around a food truck, it means shit goes down in this neighborhood and you need to stay protected. You guys don't have to worry about me, though, because I am protected if you know what I mean. That's all I'm gonna say. Nashville, baby, Tennessee, we got rights. All right, you guys, I think Jake's coming back with the beer right now. I am ready for an ice cold beer. Oh my God. You said a beer. I almost bought a 24, so. I didn't know you meant a case of beer. Now how are we gonna open those damn things? What do you got? That's a beer drinker is always carrying a bottle opener <laughs> on his keys at all time. Amen to that. Amen. Cheers on the Pacifico, my man. This is how we do it. Oh God, I love a good Pacifico. Now this is gonna go nice with the Mexican food. Everybody knows, if you eat Mexican, you need a beer. That's it, am I right? Amen, amen. Amen. Uh, oh, wheelie boy. 
<laughs> gang, gang, gang. That was some shit if I ever did see it. Okay, you guys, so food presentation. You know, some things look a little skimpy like this uh, camarone tostada. Like, where is the shrimp? I don't know. It just looks like chopped fish and onions. Either way, the tacos look good. look good. Yeah, the quesadillas look insane. The tacos look great. So let's dig in. Let's start with the tacos. That sounds like a good... I don't know what's what, so... I think this is asada, right? Or, oh, I don't know either. We're just gonna go at it. So these are all double stacked, grilled onions. I think mine might be, uh, I don't know what the hell it is. It's it hot. It is so hot. These are made to order right here. They're, they're cooking them in the back. The lady is working hard. Let's try them. Oh my God. Mine was definitely the cabeza. Really tasty, but slimy. Mm, tacos mm. are real good, double stacked. Mine's tasty. I couldn't tell you what meat this is though. Was not expecting this when I ordered a gordita. I thought it was like a taco. I thought it was too. That's what it looked like in the photo. But let me tell you, I'm still gonna rub. So I'm gonna go for this tostada. It looks like we have crema, we have the, we have avocado. We got some fish, barely any fish. Very skimpy on the fish, but all right, let's try these. I'm gonna go for this uh, quesadilla. I'm gonna here. eat it as is. Mmm. -hmm. They tried really hard. There's just not a lot of fish in here at all. It's like sour cream, chopped onions, chopped cilantro. One piece of shrimp is all I see on here, and avocado. That's this is shame. not giving like Mexican quesadilla. No. Though. But while we're at it, I'm gonna try the beans and the rice. Rice seems a little hard. Yeah. How's the rice and beans, my man? Not good. And surprising enough, where I got the beers is a Mexican market right there. Oh. And we had Taco Tuesday a couple weeks back. Sure. We got beans from a Mexican market and they were authentic as hell, mm. so I don't know where they're getting these things from. Right. Trader right. Trolls. So I was a little worried. When the, the birria taco came out, it came out like dry, it didn't come out with any consomme, and uh, it came out a little delayed. The consomme is here, birria taco's here. There's only one way to take this down. You go for it. And that's a through minute. my ear. <laughs> I'm gonna try one of these other tacos. Hey, don't worry, have no fear. <laughs> is that a mirror? <laughs> hey, pass the beer. <laughs> I hope this taco's so damn good so that I cheer. <laughs> Oh, try that. Oh, that's good. That's the best damn taco that's here. That's real good. The consomme, it's perfect. It's thick. Obviously, they're cooking the meat in there, but this has so much meat in here. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but you see the junks dropping out? Every bite, you're adding even more meat to it just from the consomme. That is phenomenal. I will say, though, the meat, from at least the tacos I had, it tastes very fatty. Yours too? This is really chewy. This one, why is this one? Still really good though, can't complain. So the next thing I wanna try here is the gordita. They call it gordita, and gordita is fat in Spanish. Gordita is like a small fatty, little fatty. So this is what this is right here, it's a little fatty. I'm just gonna take a bite of it. That's ah, hotter than a fucking Haiti. Good Lord. Mmm, really crunchy, like, it's almost like denseness of a cookie as the tortilla but it's supposed to be a bun, a chip. I don't know what the hell that is. It's like a torta, like a pancake. Yeah, but look how thick that is. It's like a cookie. It has refried beans. Look how, look, look at the thickness of this. Like if I try to break it, I can't. Oh my God, that's a chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> it's rather good. Maybe with the consomme, it might take it over the edge. So it's decently good. It's whatever. It's decent. Lunch needed nothing extra. I feel but, like this I have to soak with uh -huh. salsa. The thing is, is like I'm not gonna sit here and fill myself up on that because it's not as good as I'd want it to be. Some places you can judge by the cover. Some you could just drive right by. But lunch, like you had to stop for that thing. I think if you watched our videos on mute, you could tell what we liked and what we did not just by looking at how much food is left over at the end of the video. Go for it, bud. You said it's Americanized. Very Americanized. They should put some pico in there or something mm. to give it like a guac, guac Dry. something. They do give you a good amount of chicken though. All right. I'm done though. I'm tapping. All right, you guys, so there you have it. We ate at the sketchiest restaurants we could find for 24 hours. And like I said, with this barbed wire, I don't know what the heck this restaurant was protecting. It definitely ain't no secret recipes, but hey, Never judge a book by its cover. Get out there, try new things. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Pick up the merch, brennantaylor.com. We got limited quantities left, so if you like something, get it. If not, you're gonna wish you did. I love y'all, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm so exhausted. I'm always nauseous. Praying that I'll stay.